Hi folks, I'm Raz and in today's video I'm going to share with you ALS Academic Writing Task 1 Overview and Practice. Let's take a look at the two tasks. The first is the Task 1 Report Writing for Academic 150 to 180 words 20 minutes and the Task 2 is Essay Writing both Academic and General 250 to 280 words in 14 minutes. So friends, in this video I'm going to talk about the Task 1 Report Writing for Academic. Now let's take a look at the task assessments. The 25% is task achievement in which you need to answer everything you're asked to do in the question. The other 25% is coherence, cohesion, use structured paragraphs and make standard expressions. The other 25% is lexical resource, use wide range of vocabulary. And the last is grammar range accuracy. 25% include different kinds of sentences ranging from simple compound and complex. Now let's take a look at the segregation of the paragraphs. So paragraph one is an introduction. Paragraph two is overview. Paragraph three is make analysis and group comparisons of different years. And paragraph four is make analysis and group comparisons of the remaining years. Now let's take a look at the types of graphs. So friends, we can get any graph like a pie chart, bar graph, table, flow chart, and we need to do combination charts as well. So here, if you want to describe facts and figures, take help of bar graphs, describe trends through line graphs, comparison tables and pie charts, describe process diagram or map, and describe a flow chart. Now let's take a look at the graph one. So you should spend about 20 minutes on this task. The average price is per kilometer of clothing imported into the European Union from six different countries in 1993 and 2003 are shown in the bar chart below. Summarize information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant, write at least 150 words. Now let's take a look at this bar graph. The bar graph shows the average price the European Union spent for per kilometer clothing import from six different years, 1993 and 2003. Overall, the EU paid the highest amount to Argentina for garments import and lowest to Bangladesh in both years. According to the illustration, the EU expended the major amount for clothing import from Argentina, which was approximately £28 per kilometre. This rate was significantly progressive, almost seven times higher than the rate it gave to Bangladesh. The second and third skyrocketing rates were given to Brazil and Japan, roughly £23 and £15 respectively. China and India, on the contrary, got less than that, and their rate was higher than the import rate rate from Bangladesh. The latter received only th around three pounds per kilo, which were almost three times less than the rate paid to Japan. The rate surpassed in 2003 for China, India and Japan, which were the least paid countries a decade earlier. The price for costume import from Brazil remained unchanged while slightly declining for Argentina and Japan. Despite the price changes, Argentina and Brazil were still paid above than that of India and Bangladesh, while China's price went as high as £17, almost double that of 1993's rate. All right, let's take a look at the graph too. You should spend about 20 minutes on this task. The bar charts below show the number of hours each teacher spent teaching in different schools in four different countries in 2001. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. Write at least 150 words. Describe facts through bar graph. The column graph represents data on average teaching hours by each educator in 2001 in Japan, Spain, Iceland, and the USA in the primary, lower secondary, and higher secondary school levels. Overall, a U.S. tutor on average spent more hours in schooling than that of Japanese, Spanish and Icelander teachers in 2001, and the time spent on teaching increases with the class levels in all countries.
According to the illustration, an instructor in Japan, Spain, and Iceland typically expended around 600 hours in 2001 to teach elementary level students. This duration in the USA was the maximum, roughly 750 hours. A US mentor taught lower secondary students for exactly 1,000 hours in the same year, whereas it was roughly 600 hours in Iceland and Japan. However, lower secondary teachers in Spain dispersed roughly 750 hours each of, to their students. Finally, the time exhausted to teach higher secondary pupils in the USA was approximately 1,200 hours, which was 300 hours less in Iceland and Spain and precisely 700 hours in Japan. So thank you so much, friends, for liking my videos. Keep watching more as writing videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.